Hey guys, this is the last video in the G0704 belt drive conversion series. And in this video, I'll be talking a little bit more about the motor and the motor controller. So the two left motors are 3.8 horsepower DC motors that were both damaged in shipping. I bought them on eBay and the eBay seller refunded my money because they were unusable. This is the 2.8 horsepower motor that I ended up going with. And this is the stock one horsepower motor. The controller that I'm using is the KBMM 225D, which can be run at 115 or 130 volts AC. It can support up to three horsepower, but you will need that heat sink you can see over on the left. And the only problem with this controller is that it runs in either 90 volt or 180 volt mode. The motor, I think, is 100, it's either 130 or 135 volts. So what I haven't done, but what can be done, is to set it at 90 volts and then using the, uh, the pots down at the bottom of the controller, those white ones, you can uh, adjust the voltage to get more speed out of it. I have not done that yet. Accessories you'll need to buy are the horsepower resistor. You'll need two ceramic slow burn fuses, which I got from McMaster. It includes this small package of really cheap female spade connectors and a potentiometer for adjusting the, uh, the voltage or RPM for your motor. And then as another accessory, uh, you'll need the heat sink, which they recommend when you're running in the 230 volt mode. It, it comes with those screws. Uh, there are links to all of that in the description. So the first thing you need to do is install the horsepower resistor. Um, again, you have to order this separately. So uh, I ordered the three horsepower resistor since I'm running 2.8, but because of the voltage, uh, 90 volts, that I'm limiting this motor to, I'm definitely not using up all of that three horsepower, which is probably why this controller doesn't really get very hot. But uh, after installing the two horsepower, or the horsepower resistors, it's just the two ceramic fuses and I bought a couple extra I think you saw four in the previous shot that way if I ever blow these I have more on hand and because uh, I ended up getting them from McMaster did I already say that and so I didn't want to have to wait uh, I could not find ceramic slow burn resistors anywhere at, at local um, at local stores what I'm pointing to here is the fused uh, incoming AC line and then there's the second line so this is where you'll bring your power from the wall and then these two terminals are the DC lines that you'll take up to the motor uh, the last thing that needs to be done are jumpers so you can see this first one is the 230 or 115 volt jumper I've got mine already set to 230 and then here is the TAC 90 180 uh, output jumper and right now it's in the 180 position I mistakenly moved this over to the uh, T position which is not right it needs to be on the 90 volt position for my motor and um, I'll show you where I've got that fixed in this last shot here it is mounted you can see the two AC lines the two DC lines over on the right the three black wires at the bottom left those go to the potentiometer you'll just have to figure that out on your own uh, if you mess it up you're not going to ruin anything so if you turn the pot up and your motor gets slower you've wired it backwards for now i've simply mounted this to a uh, plastic lid which is screwed to the underside of my mill stand and then i drilled some vent holes in the top and bottom all the wires coming in and out of uh, a couple of holes over there on the back side that you can't see and then just a switch that I picked up at Home Depot and of course the potentiometer this is all temporary and uh, eventually I am going to be installing all of this as well as the controller computer which I, I have a, a new new to me controller computer it's all going to be going in a large uh, steel enclosure. I just haven't got around to doing that because it hasn't really been a priority. I have the enclosure. I have a lot of the uh, hardware accessories. So uh, for now, this works just fine. It's kind of trashy, but it keeps us from electrocuting ourselves. Anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Scroll down, hit the like button, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And uh, if you have questions, post them in the comment section below. See you in the next video.